Hi, in this video, I'm going to cover a very, very common issue that you might have, which is the module not found error. So typically, you're going to encounter this error when your working environment doesn't have a particular library installed, but then you're calling it from your Streamlit app. So we already have this documented and available in the FAQ section of the community forum. So I'll provide you the link to this, but let's have a look at some of the example here. So let's say that you want to create a new Streamlit app. Let's create a directory for that. Let's call it my app. And then I'm going to create a Streamlit file. I already have some code, so I'll just copy paste it into the app here. And now we have the app. Let's have a look at the directory. So you're going to see that we have the streamlit app.py. Let me move that file to the my app folder. So I'm going to move it to the my app folder. And then I'm going to change to the my app working directory. And then here we have the streamlit app here. Let's run it. Streamlit run streamlit app.py. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you expect out of this? Will it give me an error or will it run with no problem? So I'm getting this very infamous no module named YouTube DL error, which is part of the module not found error. So whenever you encounter this, you know exactly that you have forgot to install a particular library. So a simple fix is we'll go back to here and then we're going to abandon the, the server and then we're going to pip install. So let's have a look at the Streamlight app. Scroll up here. You're going to notice that we have imported Streamlit. We have imported Pandas and we've imported YouTube DL as the libraries. So let's check what libraries do we have installed on our computer. We're using Conda, so let's do Conda list. So do I have YouTube installed, YouTube DL? I don't. Do I have Pandas installed? Yes, I do. So we're going to go with Pandas, but we don't have YouTube DL. So what we could do is type in pip install and then YouTube underscore DL. And then we're installing it and then we're good to go. We should be able to, you know, run the app again. Streamlit run streamlit app.py. It's running. So it's downloading contents from YouTube in terms of like the, the channel videos for Streamlit. Okay, it actually has already finished. So here it is. This is our uh, Streamlit app. Let's have a look again. Okay, so it already mentioned that we have successfully installed YouTube, right? And then when I run the command here, Streamlit run, we can see that the app is running properly in localhost. And then these are the trace um, in part of the, the log. So we're going to see that it's downloading the data from YouTube. And so this is our app and we have it displaying the data frame of YouTube data. So you'll be able to see how easy it is to fix this error just by installing it locally. Uh, let's have a look if we were to deploy the app on the cloud. So I have the same app here in this repository. I'll call it FAQ module not found. And then I'm going to deploy it. So I'm going to copy 
the repo name. I'll deploy the app. I have the URL, call it the same. Deploy. Give it a few moments. In the meantime, you could just grab a cup of coffee and wait for it to finish deploying. All right, and so it's finished. And you'll see this module not found error. And if you click on the manage app here, you're gonna see the same, right? No module named YouTube DL. So you see exactly which library that you're missing. And then it also provides you with some additional context here on line number three, when you're importing YouTube DL, you don't have that installed. Okay, so now you know. So to remedy that, what you need to do is head over back to your GitHub repo, go to the requirements.txt, and then make sure that you have the prerequisites installed. Uh, so Streamlit should come by default. Um, you don't even need to specify Streamlit. It should be able to install Streamlit for you. Uh, common libraries like Pandas should also be included as well, but we'll, we'll just include it just in case. And then we'll add the, the library that is specified in the error. Um, so it's YouTube underscore DL, right? YouTube underscore DL. And then we'll commit to changes. And then wait a few moments and it will be installed. It has already been installed here. And you should be able to see a data frame. There you go. It's already installed. So this very common error can be solved by installing the prerequisites. So give it a try. Either pip install on your local computer or you could modify the requirements.txt file in your repository and you should be good to go. And so if you're finding value in this type of content, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on notifications, and as always, happy streamlining. <laughs>